Now we're going to briefly cover the latest two additions to the Steinberg family of instruments, Halion Sonic SE2 and Groove Agent SE4. Groove Agent SE4 is a completely different instrument than Groove Agent 1. It's more like Groove Agent 1 on steroids, and then some. Groove Agent SE4 is essentially a drum sampler module, but it's really so much more. Groove Agent SE4 has advanced sample editing features, drag and drop mapping, filter and envelope controls, pattern playback ability, and full connectivity with Beat Designer. Not only does it have all this, but it comes with a world-class sample library that will get you making sick beats in no time. Quickly add Groove Agent as an instrument track. Now load up Beat Designer on the MIDI insert. Load up any one of the kits or choose one of the dozens of new kits made from some of the top producers and engineers from around the world. Now here's the cool part. In the inspector, choose Create Drum Map from Instrument. Now change the kit in Groove Agent. Notice that the names of the drums in Beat Designer have changed with the names in Groove Agent. If we take a quick look in the drum editor, we can see that the name changes there as well with the changing of a kit. Talk about seamless integration. Now let's take a look at how to replace a sample on a pad. Right click on a sample pad and choose Reset Pad. Now we can just drag and drop a sample from anywhere to the empty pad. Sweet! When you drag a sample to a pad in Groove Agent SE4, a graphic pops up letting me know that I have three different drop options. So what do these symbols mean? The upper symbol with the plus allows you to add up to eight samples to a pad. Here our layer options come into the game. For velocity, samples will be triggered under consideration of velocity settings. You can adjust the velocity settings for each sample via the upper area of the sample editor. For layer, the samples will be stacked. A pad trigger plays all the stacked samples at once. This allows you to create really big and epic sounding drums. For round robin, each new pad trigger will trigger the next coming sample. For random, samples are played randomly with each pad trigger. For random exclusive, Samples are played back randomly without playing the same sample twice in a cycle. The symbol in the middle drop zone allows you to replace a sample on a pad. And the last drop zone allows you to map multiple selected samples via drag and drop chromatically to the following pads in one go. Once you've imported your sample, you can edit it in the Cubase-like sample editor and apply envelopes for the amplitude and the filter. Speaking of filters, not only do you have many different filter modes, but 24 different filter shapes to choose from. There's even three different sample playback qualities, standard, turntable, and vintage. Now if the sample we just loaded in was a drum loop of some sort, we could even create slices from the sample to preserve timing of the loop across different speeds or pitches. Cool! Okay, so we now know that Groove Agent SE4 is one heck of a drum sampler with tons of controls and effects, but it's even more now with the introduction of the pattern player. Switch to pattern mode and select a pad. Now drag and drop a MIDI pattern over to the MIDI icon on the left or directly to a pattern pad to import a pattern into Groove Agent. You can now load up your pads with different patterns and jam with Groove Agent in a completely different way than you're used to. If you have a pattern that you would like to use in your host sequencer, you can drag the pattern into Cubase with the MIDI icon on the right. You can also directly grab a pattern pad 
and drag and drop it into Cubase in order to get the MIDI part. It doesn't matter what kind of music you're making, GrooveAgent SE4 is a must-have tool for any producer or musician serious about making solid beats with great sounds. It's an amazing instrument and there's only one way to get it, by upgrading to Cubase 7.5 today. GrooveAgent SE4, now included with Cubase 7.5. Halion Sonic SE2 is the new and improved version of Halion Sonic SE and is based on Halion Sonic 2 technology. This incredible instrument not only boasts a new virtual analog synth with 150 incredible presets, but it has eight new effects, a new user interface, and custom new macro pages. To get started using Halion Sonic SE2 in multi timbre mode, either open Halion Sonic SE2 in the instrument rack or add it as an instrument track. When you have the instrument track selected, add a bunch of MIDI tracks, like another 15 tracks to make it an even 16. You'll see that all of the new MIDI tracks are pre-routed to Halion Sonic SE2, and the MIDI channels for each new track fall in succession from the first track. You'll also notice that when I select a MIDI track in the project page, the selection is mirrored in Halion Sonic SE2. Before we do the next part, Make sure you show the automation lanes in the instrument track so that you can see the results of what we're doing. Now enable multiple outs from the instrument rack or the instrument track inspector if you prefer. And then assign the individual programs to the different channels in the mix console from the mixer section in Halley and Sonic SE2 and set up each MIDI track so that it has its own output channel. Now you're ready to fill up the multi-program rack with 16 readily assigned MIDI tracks on the project page and 16 output channels in the mix console. If we clear out the existing programs in the multi-rack, this would be the perfect opportunity to save a track preset for future use. Now whenever you want to add Halion Sonic to your Cubase project during a new or active session, you can call it up in a few seconds with all of its MIDI and output channels pre-set up in a few quick clicks. When you're searching for sounds, it's best to make the selection filters visible in the window layout setup. This way you can more easily sift through the massive amount of sounds available at your disposal in Halion Sonic SE2. A few quick things about Halion Sonic SE2, the VST Quick Controls in the Instrument Rack, and MIDI Tracks on the Project page. You can set the Remote Control Focus to lock the controls to these parameters if you want. Otherwise, the Remote Control would control another track's controls if you would click on another track. If you can't see the Quick Controls, make sure you have them set to be visible with the Show Hide toggle in the top right. Just look at the synchronicity between the MIDI tracks, Halley and Sonic SE2, and the quick controls in the new instrument rack. Nice. This is a serious instrument. Not only can Halley and Sonic SE2 host up to 16 programs at a time in the multi-program rack, but it can play up to 1,024 notes of polyphony, depending on your computer's capabilities. If you're a Halley and Sonic user, you'll be familiar with the easy-to-use layout. You can quickly access all relevant controls in the new macro page from the edit menu. You can adjust polyphony, MIDI channels, and playable range in the MIDI menu. You can control your levels, panning, outputs, and auxiliary sends in the mix menu. But here's something that's exclusive to Halley and Sonic SE2. Eight new stellar effects to polish off that perfect sound. Smooth out your sound with the all-new Tape Saturator. Get your wah in with the new wah-wah effect. Make things freaky with the Auto Filter. And add a little spookiness with the new Ring Mod effect. But that's not all. Halion Sonic SE2 also includes an octave or pitch shift, a smooth vintage ensemble, an envelope shaper, and an all-new improved rotary effect. These additions to the already sweet collection of effects in Halion Sonic SE 
satisfy your every need for effects power without having to use the mix console. If that wasn't already enough, there's a new virtual analog synth included called Trip that focuses on arpeggiator sounds. Trip consists of a three oscillator synth plus sub that will inspire you with its dazzling collection of 150 new presets and arpeggiator playback with four variations. With the new graphic user interface, the new synth, and the new effects in Halion Sonic SE2, this is definitely an upgrade worth having. Halion Sonic SE2, only from Steinberg, only in Cubase 7.5. If you're familiar with the media bay, you already know that you can quickly find any type of media that you're looking for to add to your project. Well, the media bay now contains a bunch of new construction kits to help you get a project started really, really fast. Sometimes a production deadline won't allow for the time it takes to find a group of matching sounds for a given type of EDM production. This is where the new construction kits come in to save the day. Under the location tree, find the EDM toolbox. Each folder contains MIDI loops that are already assigned to specific sounds that have already been completely set up to work beautifully with each other in your musical production. So let's say you're working on an intro part for a song. You can select ready-made parts labeled intro and then stack them together to form a ready-made production for that part of the song. You don't have to use that specific part for each sound that you've chosen, but it's certainly a great starting point for inspiration in creating your own part. We've all spent countless hours trying to find sounds that work well together in a composition. And with the EDM toolkit, you can get those hours back and spend them making music instead of playing around searching the thousands of sound possibilities that can leave you overwhelmed at times when writing a song. If you're not sure where to start, just grab a folder and start slamming parts together. The fresh new construction kits will get you where you're going in no time.